The LSU Tigers haven't had quite the dominant start to the season we were maybe all expecting from them, but despite these early struggles, there has been one huge bright spot for them. That, of course, is their freshman star, Michaela Williams. Even though she stands within a lineup featuring proven superstars of the college level like Angel Reese and Haley Van Lith, she's become the focal point of LSU's offense already and has immediately demonstrated the heights of her offensive prowess, dropping 42 points against Kent State the other week. With the recent circumstances surrounding Angel Reese that has resulted in her benching, Williams' rapid development has been crucial into keeping LSU afloat. So, in today's video, I want to break down the transcendent play of Williams, the elements of her game that make her so good, and how Kim Mulkey has trusted her to take over for this offense so early into this tumultuous season for the Tigers. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more women's basketball content like this. But with that being said, let's talk about Michaela Williams. Statistically, I've been probably the most impressed by Williams out of all the star freshmen in college hoops right now. Sure, players like Phil Wiley from South Carolina or KK Arnold from UConn are obviously making significant impacts for their respective teams. But Michaela is just taking it to a whole new level with LSU, even with the superstar forces of Angel Reese and Haley Van Lith around her. She's averaging 19.2 points per game, which is top 50 in the whole country, and is doing so on outrageous shooting splits of 56% from the field, 57% from three, and 90% from the free throw line. That three-point shooting is coming on five attempts per game as well, by the way. Just elite stuff. Additionally, she's adding two assists and over a steal per game, and her minutes have quickly grown from low 30s to mid 30s, and sometimes they're even higher nightly. Obviously, her best game this season came against Kent State, as I mentioned, where she slaughtered them for 42 points on just 20 shots. So, let's break down her performance from that game, the elements of her offensive arsenal that make her so dangerous, and the ways in which Kim Mulkey has utilized her skill set in set plays for LSU. Williams is an excellent scorer at all three levels. She has great touch and finesse around the basket and often gets there on individual drives, having a sufficient handle to take players on off the dribble. Like here, she creates space with a quick crossover and attacks the driving lane with a quick burst as a defender guards her on a slight angle, which tries to force her to the baseline. Despite a second defender rushing over, Williams calmly gathers the ball, takes on the contact and hangs in the air, banking in the tough runner. It is a tough look and it's solid defense to be fair, but it's still too easy for her. Williams is also an excellent shooter, as her shooting percentages suggest. She can catch and shoot from practically anywhere as well as off the dribble, like here, where she steps into a long two that catches the Kent State defense by surprise, so she's wide open. I really like her shooting form personally, it's quite a quick release and she gets up decently high, so even if there is a running contest out to her at the three point line, it's highly unlikely that it's going to get deflected. Mulkey has typically utilized Williams as a catch and shoot threat, positioning her as a high corner to wing three point shooter, where she can be found off of driving kicks from a girl like Haley Van Lith, whose gravity will always draw in multiple defenders on a drive. However, Williams isn't just a catch and shoot threat, but she can also get shots of herself, particularly off high pick and rolls, taking advantage of her defender going under screens with pull up jumpers. Again, as I mentioned, it's a decently quick release. So since her direct opponent goes under the screen, there's really not much she can do about it. To me, it's clear that Williams' maturity level on the core and ability to read the defense to create shots for herself is so far advanced compared to her freshman peers. Yes, it's early, but if Williams continues to project to play at the level she's been at, it would be hard to not give her the freshman of the year. She's been scoring at such a high level for such a good program and is honestly the main reason why they're trading water right now. I think their start could have turned out a lot worse without her impact. Again, as I mentioned, Full Wiley is probably right there on the conversation with her for freshman of the year. But in terms of value and impact, especially considering the slow start that LSU had and obviously some off-court troubles at the moment, it's hard to deny how vital Michaela Williams has been for this team. 
What's kind of disappointing is that in Paige Becker's and Caitlin Clark's freshman years, for example, their performances got a nationwide spotlight. Yet Williams has done many things similar to theirs in her freshman season, including that massive 42 point trouncing of Kent State. But for the most part in mainstream media, we hear largely crickets, which needs to change in my opinion. I won't go on too much of a tangent here today, because that's not what the video is about, but not even just for Williams, but this freshman class as a whole. There's been so many phenomenal performances across the board that aren't getting the attention they deserve from the mainstream media, which has been quite disappointing to see. And hopefully there's some change there as the season goes on. Regardless, I think with Reese out for who knows how long now, Williams' role in this LSU side will become clearer and more consistent. I expect her to become more aggressive in finding her shot, probably have more plays run for her, whether that's as a catch and shoot threat or out of pick and roll. And I think her averaging over 20 points per game is certainly possible if her performances continue at the rate they're at throughout the rest of the season. It cannot be overstated how impressive she's been, especially as a freshman. And again, with a more solidified role in the offense, her confidence will only continue to grow. In about a week and a half's time, LSU have a make or break game against Virginia Tech. That will really prove their legitimacy as championship contenders in my opinion. If they're to win that game though, they're going to need Williams to continue her, sp her spectacular level of play, especially if Reese hasn't returned to the lineup by that point but I'm confident she will shine. She's looked fantastic to begin this season, and as she gets more and more minutes on the court, she'll only continue to get better. If you made it this far, you must have enjoyed this analysis, so be sure to like the video and subscribe for more women's basketball content like this. But with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.